Father, thank you so very much for your goodness and for your mercy unto us. Thank you for this unique opportunity we have through you to become your children. Thank you for this morning. This is the day, O oh Father, you have made. And by you, O oh Lord, we will rejoice and and be glad in it. We thank you. We bless your name. We give you all praise and all honor. Thank you so very much, Father. Thank you. We receive strength from you this morning to stand up, to lift up our head, to be able to speak up, and to be able, O oh Father, to, by you, do exploits. Let your grace, Lord, that you have freely bestowed, not be in vain. May none of us, O oh Father, be subdued into a corner or be afraid, but rather that we will be bold. Bold because, Father, you have bestowed upon us this unique privilege. May we go forth, sons and daughters, set apart by you, to glorify you. May each and every one of us lift up our heads and glorify you. Thank you this morning. By this fellowship of Father, we receive strength. Whosoever is weak, be strengthened. Whosoever is frail, the Lord be lifted up. May we acknowledge your Father, your work with us and standing by us and helping us. You are our help. Through the Spirit, you have freely given unto us. We receive help. Receive help. In Jesus' mighty name we pray this morning. Amen. Um, good morning to every one of us. Um, and welcome to devotion and welcome to a week ordained of God, a day ordained of the Lord. We've been reading from the book of Revelation. I I just want to pick the scripture again and pick the scripture again and, and we pray. Revelation chapter twelve and there are a couple of things I would like us to lay hold upon and confess and pray. So, there was war in heaven. Um, there was a war in heaven. Revelation 12 from verse 7 says that there was war in heaven. There was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. 
So when we say Satan is the defeated foe, it is because we know that he fought and was not able to prevail, but he was overcome. Interestingly, this fight was not even the devil with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This fight was with the angels. They fought and he was not able to prevail. So this morning, somebody just want to remind the devil in every area, first of all, starting from within, from your mind, thoughts that come and suggestions, voices, and all kinds of things that come. They originate from the devil, clearly. I just want to say, Satan, you were vanquished and thrown away from your place. And no place was found for you in heaven. No place was found for you in heaven. You were overthrown. And same way that you were overthrown, and no place was found for you. There's no place found for you in my mind. There's no place for you. Remember how the scripture says of Jesus when he was about to be born? That the Bible says that they went from place to place and no place was found for him. Until they came to this inn and again there was no place. And then they say, except there is a, a manger. No place was found from place to place. And somebody say unto the enemy and say, there is no place. Maybe the voice is telling you that you will not make it. Say, no place was found for you. The voice is telling you, no place was found for you. Satan, you are overcome. You are overthrown. No place is found for you here in my mind. May you, may you affirm it. Maybe there is a particular voice or thought you are hearing. Maybe a thought or a voice is telling you that you will not make it. A thought is telling you that nobody likes you. A thought is telling you no one will be able to to give a helping hand unto you. A thought is telling you it is by this Christ and by the fact that this enemy was overcome that we hold every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. You want to hold it by the arms and legs and say that this particular thought you want to say that there is no place found for you, same way that your master was overthrown and no place was found for him in heaven. Maybe the voice is telling you, you won't be able to get far. You want to declare and say, no place is found to you for, for you in my mind because I will get far. The voice is telling you, you won't be able to get far. Say that I would go far and further and further and further in the king of glory, the Lord of glory. I will go far. It might have been words that have been spoken to you by somebody that is still there and, and, and taunting and haunting and afflicting. You want to say that there is no place because my mind has been taken over by the Lord Jesus. There is no place found in you. You want to declare and say, Satan, there is no place found for you in my body, there is no place found for you that I'm no longer your servant. There is no place. You are not welcome. There is no place. Somebody want to declare and say how you were overthrown from heaven that you did not have a place. You know, Jesus in teaching about demons in our Matthew chapter 12, he says to us that when demons are cast out of a person, he says that they go about looking for a place to stay, moving from deserts and wilderness and all that, looking for a place to stay. Why? Because there is no place. body. And somebody said that there is no place. 
that every demonic activity, there is no place in this body. And somebody affirm and say, there is no place in this body. Every work of the enemy, you want to declare and say, there is no place in this body. There is only victory through Christ Jesus in this body, in the name of Jesus. There is victory unto victory. There is victory unto victory. There is victory unto victory. There is no place in this body, in the name of the Lord Jesus. There is no place. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus, there is no place in this body. And somebody declare and say, there is no place in this day. My day, my day, my day, my day, my day, my day, my day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. There is no place in my day for you in the name of Jesus. This day is a day of glory. This day is a day of manifestation. This day is a day of victory. This day is a day of miracles. This day is a day of pleasure and joy and peace and gladness forevermore. This day is a day of great achievement. This day is a day of fullness of joy. This day is a day of the power of the Most High. There is no place for you. As there was no place for you in heaven, so there is no place for you in my day. There is no place. It's not a day of tears. It's not a day of disappointment. It's not a day of regret. No. It's a day of achievement. It's a day of joy and peace and gladness. It's a day of thanksgiving. It's a day the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. There's no place. Now the scripture says, from verse 9, Revelation chapter 12, if you just joined, it says, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. It was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. The great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world, he was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. Irrespective of his influence, irrespective of his skill, irrespective of his schemes, irrespective of the the abilities that he had that could be recognized, for which reason that he would be referred to as great. This one, the scripture says, was cast out. Was cast, cast out. Was cast out. This one, the, the, the scripture says, he was cast out. He was cast out. So somebody declare, you know, because the scripture refers to him and say that great dragon is not just in terms of a size, but it could be in terms of intelligence. So wise and cunning crafty, and all. Somebody declare this morning and say that your intelligence and scheme and device and skill and craftiness has no hold over me. Your intelligence and skill and craft has no hold over me. Your capacity or experience has no hold over me because you were overthrown. And by Christ Jesus, I overcome. By Christ Jesus, I overcome. The, the, the glory of Jesus that was made manifest when finally he put the final nail into the coffin of the devil, was when he died in our place, a substitutionary death. 
and we were with him. We died with him. We rose with him. We were buried with him in baptism. And we come to that place that he, he is our functional head. The Bible refers to him as the head of the church. He is our functional head. So each one of us found ourselves a little finger, a little toe, a part of the skin, and this and that and that put together and forms a body, and he is the head upon it. And whilst he hung on the tree, and they saw that body being lashed and, and lacerated and all the various things, we were a part of him. And beloved, the scripture declares that when he died, we died with him. And somebody want to recognize your, the, the, the death that we died through Christ. And the Bible will say, how could we who, who are dead still live unto sin? So somebody affirm that I died with Christ. I died with Christ. I died with Christ. I died with Christ. Somebody want to recognize and say that I died with Christ. Somebody want to affirm this morning that I died with Christ. Somebody want to affirm and say I died with him. Open your mouth and declare and say that this body died with Christ. This body died with Christ. This body died with Christ. I reckon myself to be dead indeed in Christ Jesus. I reckon myself to be dead in Christ Jesus. I reckon myself. And somebody affirm and say, and I was buried with him through baptism. And this morning, you just want to affirm. And, and, and beloved, these are the means by which we overcome the devil. And, and the moment we stop to reckon, we find ourselves living unto sin and, and being overcome by sin and finding ourselves in the place where we will live eternally with regrets and, and pain and, and, and all manner of things. But you want to come to that point today and declare and say that I was buried with him through baptism. I died with him and I was buried with him through baptism. And somebody declare this morning and say that I have received of him newness of life. There is newness of life in this body. There is newness of life in this body. A life that glorifies God. A life that glorifies God. A life that overcomes that which the enemy throws at me. There is a life of victory. There is a life of joy. There is a life of peace in this body. And somebody declare and say that there is resurrection life in this body. There is resurrection life in this body. I am resurrected through Christ Jesus. I am resurrected unto newness of life. Things of old have passed away. This morning, stay up yourself, beloved, into that place and say, I am resurrected in Christ Jesus. I live for him. I live, and I live triumphantly. I'm alive through Christ Jesus. My body, soul, and spirit is alive through Christ Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, there is resurrection life manifesting in me and through me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus. I live through Christ Jesus. I am alive forevermore through Christ Jesus. As he lives, so do I live. There is life in me. In every part of my being, I experience the life of Jesus. In every part of my being, in my mind, in my flesh, in every part of my being, I experience the life of Jesus. There is the resurrection life in me. There is manifestation of his life. I overcome all things because there is life and there is full manifestation station of his power and his glory inside of me. Maramula Krozinibike, in the name of the Lord Jesus, there is full manifestation of his life. I awake unto the mandate of the Most High because there is new life in me. I awake unto the power of the Most High because there is new life in me. I awake unto the power of the, the blood of Jesus because there is new life in me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I awake into the newness of this life that is in me. And every part of me glorify the King of glory. The King of glory. When he died in our place, beloved, we died with him. Recognizing that and reckoning that we died with him. 
is how we overcome the devil. We fail to do that. He throws us a deadly punch. But Lord, we thank you this morning. We thank you. We thank you. Beloved, I just want to read the last verse in in uh, First Corinthians chapter 15 quickly. And something just came up in my spirit. First Corinthians chapter 15. Um, verse 57, I tell 58, sorry. Uh, 57, yes, that's 57. 57. Not the last 57. Now the scripture says, But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Somebody say, I have received victory. I have received victory. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, I have received victory. Victory through the day. Victory so that I can look up. Victory so that I can testify of the glory of God. There is victory through Christ Jesus. Thanks be unto the Father for giving unto me victory over sin. Victory over disease. Victory over any kind of scheme of the enemy. Victory over the power of death and grave. Victory in the name of Jesus. Victory. Victory. Thanks be unto God. Victory. Thanks be unto God. In every battle, in every situation, in every place, thanks be to God that there is victory given. In every place we find ourselves victory in the name of Jesus. Thanks be unto God. Thanks be unto God. Thanks be unto God. Thanks be unto God that I have received of Him victory. Victory over this day as I go for victory over this week. As I go for victory over every kind of temptation. Victory over every situation all around. Victory over that which we live me victory over that which follows me victory over that which is cast at me victory over that which is lying 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 around to be able to overtake victory over that which sneaks around victory in the name of Jesus there is victory there is victory victory given unto us there is victory there is a song of victory in my mouth in the name of the Lord Jesus but thanks be unto God that there is victory given unto us thanks be unto Jesus thanks be unto Jesus for granting us the victory there is victory for someone there is victory over the works of darkness there is victory over the works of unfruitfulness there is victory over the works of the enemy there is victory over the works in the mind there is victory over psychological situations there is victory over the flesh there is victory therefore we lift up our head therefore we smile there is victory in the name of Jesus there is victory as we go out there is victory as we come in there is victory in the name of Jesus there is victory in the heavenly there is victory on the earth there is victory underneath the earth there is victory today there is victory tomorrow there is victory all around in the name of the Lord Jesus. That which is called today, there is victory by the blood of Jesus. There is victory. There is victory. There is victory in the congregation. There is victory in the pews. There is victory in the pulpit. There is victory in the department. There is victory. Thanks be unto God. There is victory in our homes. There is victory in our lives. There is victory in the name of Jesus. There is victory in the name of the Lord Jesus. There is victory in the name of Jesus. There is victory in the realms of angels. Great has been given. Victory has been given. There is victory as we drive around. There is victory as we sit in cars. There is victory as we walk by. There is victory in the name of Jesus. There is victory. How could we, who victory has been given to, lead vanquished lives? How could we, who victory has been given to, eat the bread of sorrow? How could we, that victory has been given to, live a life of rejection and rejection? We lift up our head because there is victory given unto us. To such a one as I, that victory has been given unto. My life shall shine forth brighter and brighter. My life shall shine forth brighter and brighter. That which is militating and holding against us. There is victory for us. 
in the name of Christ, our Lord and Savior. There is victory for you, brethren. There is victory for you. How could we be afraid when there is victory given unto us? How could we be locked in when there is victory given unto us? How could we be chained when there is victory given unto us? May every chain fall. May every chain fall. May every locked door be opened. May that which we've been robbed of be returned in the name of Jesus. There is victory in the name of Christ Jesus. We give him praise. We give him glory. We give him all honor this morning. For there is victory unto us. The Lord bless you, beloved, and keep you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. You have a reason to smile. You have a reason to lift up your head because the blood of Jesus, our Lord, was shed for us to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. The blood of Christ Jesus speaks for us that we can have access into the presence of the Most High God. The blood of Christ Jesus was shed for us so that we can stand and receive of Him mercy and grace in the time of need. The blood of Jesus has granted unto us victory unto victory. Peace be multiplied unto you. And joy and gladness of heart. For you are a joyful individual. And we are a joyful people. Amen.